The U.S. Department of Education is now run by a billionaire who wants to tear down public education. And the Republicans have introduced a bill in the House, H.R. 610, to redirect funding through vouchers to unaccountable charter schools whose main goal is to make a profit. Public education is a public good and we should fund it that way. I'm David Kulma and I approved this message because I wrote, shot, edited, and uploaded it myself. For free. <music> It's Wednesday, March 15th, 2017. According to the newly created U.S. News & World Report Best States Rankings, South Carolina ranks at the bottom, 50th in education. This is horrible news. But the answer is not to continue the decades-long bipartisan effort to destroy public education. If you are horrified by Betsy DeVos, you should have also been angry at Arne Duncan, Obama's first Secretary of Education. Our politicians across this country had a clear path to make our education system better, give students and teachers a seat at the table, and invest the badly needed resources in these students and teachers who will create our future. Instead, our politicians did the opposite. They created a gigantic, onerous, discriminatory system of standardized tests that throws away creative learning and requires stifling obedience. They tied the funding of schools to these tests, which means that the schools that needed the most help got slaps on the wrist and even shut down as a result. They created methods of defunding public schools by redistributing taxpayer dollars away from public schools in need to help bolster unaccountable private and charter schools. You don't help the local public school get better by stealing their money. Public education is a public good and we should fund it that way. In higher education, politicians have destroyed public colleges and universities with equal zeal. They have refused to fund higher education at the necessary levels to pay teachers living wages. As the university becomes more like a business and less like a public institution, it means that professors are being turned from well-paid, respected professionals into poor, temporary employees who are hindered from teaching their students. Public education is a public good and we should fund it that way. I know this firsthand as a part-time adjunct professor. I am lucky to have a department that at times has been willing to give me lots of classes. But I've never made $25,000 in a year, even with a semester where I taught eight classes. I am required by the system to spend as little time as possible on my teaching so that I have time to find other work. There are people like me all over this country with extensive education who are getting paid for shit to teach your college students who are paying record high tuition rates. Yes, if you have a kid in college or a student yourself, many of your professors cannot afford to live on their teaching income. We are the education equivalent of the overworked, underpaid people who work at Walmart and McDonald's. I know adjuncts on food stamps. And we also have a lot of student debt. So I propose five things to make our education system better. One, end standardized testing and return classrooms to teachers and students. Students are human beings, not data points. Two, require that all public funding of education go to public schools only. We can only help schools that we run ourselves. The market will steal from us every time. Three, make public colleges and universities free. No one should have to go into debt to get an education in this country. Four, expand bankruptcy law to include education loans. If you are unable to pay back your student loans, under current law, the government can steal your wages and even your social security. And five, the most radical. We need a fresh start with education in this country, and we can show our children that we are serious about public education by wiping away all student loan debt. Can you imagine what would happen to our economy if millions of people suddenly had an extra $200 in their pocket every month? Public education is a public good, and we should fund it that way. Join me in the fight to protect public education. Head on over to votekulma.org to volunteer, donate, and read about my campaign for Congress here in South Carolina's 5th Congressional District. If you care about public education, share this video with everyone you know. I'm powered by you, not the corporations. Let's turn SC5 green.